Hello everyone, welcome to the Software Coding Tutorials channel. My name is Tommy. Today I will be talking about uh, the using of GDB to debug C++ programs in Linux. So what is GDB? Uh, GDB stands for GNU Debugger. It will allow you to see what's going on in your program by allowing you by allowing you to step through the code, set breakpoints, examine and change variables, etc. This debugger is available when you install GCC or G++ in Linux and other operating systems uh, such as Mac OS and Windows. Uh, for this tutorial, I will demonstrate GDB in Linux. And here are the useful commands that you will need. So first of all, you want to compile your program using the uh, dash g option for C++. So this will create the uh, debug information for GDB to use. Uh, so next, you want to load your program by typing this command, GDB, and then the executable uh, that was produced by the compiler. Uh, when GDB is running in the terminal, type run. Uh, if the program has arguments that needs to be passed from the terminal, type run and then whatever the arguments are. And uh, to break by line number, type the following. So break uh, line number or break uh, your program.cpp and then uh, colon the line number. Uh, to break within a certain function example given, uh, break your program.cpp colon and then your function name for example main uh, commands that you will need uh, for example if you want to show the breakpoint you type in info breakpoint uh, to enable or disable a breakpoint you say enable uh, breakpoint number and to clear a breakpoint you type in clear and your program and then the line number. To resume execution of your program you type either continue or C and press enter. Uh, to print or inspect a variable or a register in your program type print uh, the variable name or you print dollar the register's name example given e dollar EAX. Um, other uh, things you can do uh, with print, you can print a vector in C++ by print star parenthesis the vector and uh, imp, uh, m imp dot m start and you can type in uh, you know plus one uh, plus zero etc to iterate through the, uh, the vector and if you want to know the values in the register you type in info registers Okay, so other commands that you need to know, uh, for example, to step into your program, you can type either S, SI, or N. SI is where the debugger will step through the next instruction. S or N is where the debugger will step through the next line in the source code. Um, to know what is the variable type in GDB, so you type in what is and the variable name. Uh, to set a string variable in GDB, you can type call variable, uh, then dot assign, and then whatever the new string is. And if you want to set a numerical variable, uh, you type in set var the variable name, and then equal sign, and whatever the value that you want it to become. So that's all that I have. Um, if I know um, additional commands I'll, I'll let you know so if you have VS code please open up VS code and create a new directory called GDB and create a new file so in this uh, for this file call it like test.cpp to keep it short um, type a 
um, uh, program so I would say include IO stream include string include vector uh, declare using namespace standard int main and uh, type in your declaration so for example uh, type in string hello world and then uh, see out string and line uh, declare for example vector so vector string vect uh, a comma b comma c and then you can loop through the vector so for string uh, string in vector C out string and line so to keep it short basically okay so let's open our terminal and I have a uh, console open already that SSH into the Linux environment so do ls dash ltr to show the uh, the program so type in g plus plus dash g test dot cpp dash o test to compile the program so as you remember uh, dash g write additional information so that uh, gdb can load so type in gdb test okay and it's loaded so if you type run without any breakpoint it's going to execute the whole entire program um, so if you know uh, where to break in your program for example uh, line 10 here you can do so by type in break 10 okay and then type run again and we're basically at uh, at line 10 so you can um, print the variable uh, string right and you can see that it's hello world and if you want to modify that string uh, you need to type in call string dot assign and let's say goodbye world and um, and you can type break uh, line 10 again and then type uh, continue and you can see that it says uh, goodbye world okay so if you want to know uh, the information about breakpoint you type in info breakpoint and it will list the breakpoints for you uh, you can see that uh, in a it's enable so you want to disable the, the breakpoint you can type in enable or disable so in this case I'm going to disable uh, breakpoint <clears throat> and one and if you type in info breakpoint again you can see that it's not enabled so if you rerun the program it's gonna not stop uh, you know on line 10 and let's re-enable it again so let's type in uh, enable enable breakpoint one type run and we're basically at line 10 and print string and you can see it's hello world continue and it's gonna print uh, all the contents um, the contents of um, the vector okay okay and if you want to know uh, the information of the register so you can type in info registers but since the program has terminated um, you won't be able to see the register so type in run again and type in info register okay if you um, want to know what the type of the variable is you can type in what is 
and the variable name. So let's say what is vec, and it will tell you that is a standard vector here. Okay. Uh, so type continue and I'll finish the program and I'll exit normally. Okay, so I pretty much clear all my breakpoints. So uh, I'm going to set up the breakpoint at line 13 and I'm going to run it again. And at this point, I like to print out the vector. So to do so, uh, I just do print star vect. Okay, and um, m implant dot m underscore start and I should see uh, the vector the data in the vector and if I want to see um, at uh, you know each um, iteration I can do so uh, this doesn't work and I can just say uh, one two three right and then I can, I can see um, that there are three elements in the vector okay so let me exit GDP by type in quit okay and uh, I'll go back to my program and uh, introduce a new uh, variable let's say uh, X equal to 45 right and I want to print out X and line and then save it and go back to my terminal and type in uh, g plus plus dash g test dot cpp dash o and test okay to reload it type gdb test and uh, I like to do a breakpoint at line 12 so, um, so if you run completely, you can see that it print out hello world and 45. At line 12 is where it prints 45. So I can put break at line 12, then type run. And at this point, I can say print x, and it should give me the value 45. And if I want to set x equal to something else, I can say set var. Uh, x equal to uh, 35 for example and then uh, just do break at 12 then um, type continue and you can see that it print out the value 35 okay so um, you GDB is uh, comprehensive enough that you can actually uh, do a lot of things uh, but uh, this is all the time I have for this tutorial uh, and if you like this kind of tutorial uh, please come back and subscribe to my channel and uh, I'd love to hear uh, your feedback um, thank you very much for watching this video see you next time bye for now